What's going on ladies and gents? I'm Kimberlina and welcome back to the musical that is Stray Gods. In the last episode we met another Greek god by the name of Pan who offered his assistance in our search to prove our innocence. Can this guy be trusted or not? No, it's just too early to tell. But we do have an important lead. We have an address to Calliope's apartment. Maybe there we'll find some valuable answers that'll help us in our investigation. So let's jump right in. Ooh. Here we are. Oh, it's open. That's not a good sign. Mm. Nice place too. <gasps> Look at those stairs. Look at those instruments. This is Calliope's apartment? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Um, hello? Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. <laughs> I don't think the killer's still I here. have a look around. Hopefully not. All right, we can take a bit of a look-see. And keep in mind that she was the muse of music. So there's going to be a lot of musical instruments around. It's just a question of what we want to look at first. Let's turn our attention to the light. Yep, that's a light. After Calliope left the audition, where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? Fascinating. All right, well, let's look at... Start checking out the instruments, I guess. Look at the guitar. Damn, look at that. That's beautiful. How do you even get one of these? <laughs> you go to a store, I guess. Same way you get any other guitar. What about the drums? Let's look at the drums. Right. These aren't... Do I inherit these as the new muse? Is that even okay to ask? <laughs> Do I get her stuff now? What about the harp? A giant harp. Of course there's a giant harp. Uh, instrument? Why isn't it called piano? Why is it just called instrument? I don't understand. Let's have a look. Check out the instrument. So many instruments in here. Did she play all of them? Let's check out the Elvis picture. I want to believe this is just an ironic photo of Elvis and she wasn't like his muse or... And the paintings. Look at the elegant painting over here. Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. It looks okay. And Andy Warhol? Famous Andy artist. Warhol, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how many celebrities she knew. Interesting. Well, we've looked at everything we can look at here. Let's uh, let's go upstairs for a little bit. I don't see anything useful down here. Maybe there's something upstairs. Time to ascend oh, the spiral stairway. Get it together, Grace. It's just your average. Every day. Oh, there were the only three muses, you know. Apollo. Not nine. Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they'd pass on their idol on. Take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. What are you doing here, huh? What are you doing, sitting here in the dark? What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, preparing your villainous monologue? <laughs> I'm grieving. For a dear friend. Yeah, I remember Apollo stood if up I may for us. Ask, how did you find this place? And what are you doing here? I'm trying to prove my innocence, dude. People think I killed the woman. I need your help, Apollo. You've helped me already, but... I could do with a little bit more of that stuff. I'm looking for help. To save my life, remember? Yes, I should apologize for that. Our ways must seem strange to you. You don't need to apologize. You're the only one who really helped me. It... It wasn't right. What they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I can't help you, Grace. I wish I could. You deserve better. Yeah, why can't you help me? Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. Y you've already met Pan? 
How odd. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. I don't understand. Oh well. But what can you tell me about Calliope? Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul. If troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She argued with us, with all of us, that we needed to change. We hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before today. I am. Um, I'd rather not talk about it. I really should have asked Calliope who did this to her while she was still alive, but it's, uh, it's a bit late for that now, I guess. Why is this room such a mess? This room is a mess. Did you do this? Not this? It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? I didn't think much of it. I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her things. Well, that's what I'm here for. Not in... It's, uh... It's cleaner than my place. <laughs> he doesn't know any better. Well, you know, there could be a clue here. Hiding amongst all this rubble. So you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. No, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. <laughs> her it's projects? Sensitive of me. When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. Wow. I don't know what she was Type involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this is nothing. Well, doesn't sound like you're gonna help me, Apollo. So let me get this straight. You'll speak up for me, but you won't lift a finger to help. You don't want me to do more. You keep saying that, but it doesn't make any sense. If you didn't want to help, that'd be one thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> Why not? He's gonna explain himself now. Am I gonna get an answer? Or is he just gonna walk away all brooding? I can't do this. Mm, can you explain why? I can see this is hard for you, I really can. But I... I don't understand. You don't know what you're asking. Do I have to beg? For whatever reason you helped me before. My life is still on the line. Oh, are we gonna start singing? <laughs> Am I using my I, singing I powers? I haven't sung in centuries. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. But I can influence. Phantom pains from a missing friend Feeding thoughts, thoughts that never end What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head Long gone fights, but they're never dead. What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? Years, thousands of years, we walk side by side. She tried. Other paths don't walk the same, never the same. I have roads I like, smooth, paved in stone. She got tired of our divide, we weren't the same. Never the same. You held fast. What's that about? Stubborn me. Thought I'd wait her out. Usually, she'd come back to me. You see, she'd. 
return We do that old dance Knowing both There was not a chance that I would change But she never came Years, thousands of years certain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. Well, it sounds like it'd be useful for me. Why? How is knowing the future a bad thing? Do you want to know when you're going to die? If knowing allows me to avoid it, sure. To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. How does that work? What? That makes no sense. If you tell me I'm going to fall into a hole... Then you will. No, but I'll just avoid holes. All holes. Any hole. And the act of trying to avoid them is what will make you fall. Worse, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. So, is there any alternatives here? Okay, is there anything you can do that isn't prophecy-related? Uh, not directly, but yes, possibly. Come with me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh, a new character. And another opportunity for a musical breakdown. We made it. This is where you live? Oh, yes. Sometimes. And, and excuse the mess. I, uh, <laughs> I don't get many visitors. It's fine. Don't worry about it, my dude. Don't worry about it. I, I have three brothers. I've seen a mess or two. Well, you're being kind. I admit I hadn't realized how bad it was. You said I'm here to meet someone? Ah, yes. Um... Do you know what an oracle is? Oh, isn't that... Yeah, like a fortune teller, really. Someone who tells the future? Not quite. They serve as a channel of sorts for oh, my powers. I see. This allows them to offer insight. Knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here. There is. Uh, 
What? Uh, I have brought someone to see you. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. <laughs> Is that what Paul told you? Oracle's my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. Well, it's just, uh, lovely to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Oracle. Huh. Well, she's got better manners than the last lady you brought here. But at least that one had a casserole. <laughs> Do you have a casserole? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. That's it! No crystal ball that you see into? I ask Cuts. very little of you, Oracle. Your help here would be appreciated. Fine. Look at your abs in a twist. Okay, so Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. What's on your mind, sis? I keep calling him Paul. You keep saying Paul. Do you mean Apollo? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, 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 blah. But you don't believe him. <laughs> believe him? Uh, who'd believe that? Uh, <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. <laughs> uh, you live here? Do you live here? I... Crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She showed up one day, as the oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. See the way he talks? I thought maybe he was a creep at first, but nah. Paul's aye. He's aye. <laughs> the highest of praise. He'd be more alright if he did some laundry. So how well do you know this guy? Tell me. Is Apollo always so... Incredibly emo? Like a sack stuffed with sad? <laughs> I am standing right here. Don't get me wrong. It grows on you after a while. Grace, surely this is not what you came for. Uh, this is fun! Yay! Oh, I don't know. It's cute watching you get all flustered. <laughs> it's hardly productive. Is it? See, there you go again. <laughs> Ugh. Get a room. A different room. Uh, so you're good with computers, Miss Oracle? So you're an Oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. The parts I purchased for her, presumably. Bargain for fair and square. And I keep telling you to get me an Ethernet cable. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This is a 21st century, Paul. And your 21st century Oracle needs her some download speed, okay? Okay, well, you know what I need? I need some information, lady. So give me some information, lady. I'm looking for information about someone named Calliope. Can you help? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, let me check that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. You could do the same if you learned to use a computer. <laughs> Here, hold up, I'll show you. There. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Oh. Oh, I see. That would be Persephone. Oh, the one from the chorus. Is she the nasty one from the underworld? Wait, which one Persephone was Persephone is in the one from the chorus. The one who wanted me dead, Persephone. <laughs> I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. Will there be trouble along the I'm way? I'm thinking she won't be happy to see me. Persephone is rarely happy to see anyone. Great! We're all done now. Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, 
Do try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. Perhaps go for a walk. Maybe get a yeah, little sunshine. Yeah, sure, we'll do. Leave a tip on your way out. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm busy. All right. And as it says right there in the bottom right corner, it is time to confront Persephone at her nightclub. I don't know if that's such a good idea, but we've got Apollo with us at the moment, so we feel a little bit safer. But anyway, that is going to have to wait until the next episode because we are now all out of time for this episode. So join me in the next one and we're going to see what happens when we confront Persephone. Uh, the one who wants us dead. So that's going to turn out great for us. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.